Well, hey y'all, welcome to a Trash Beer Tuesday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Views. And what I got for you this week is kind of a, a sequel to what I did last week. Uh, last week I had a Nasty Beast uh, Original Hard Tea by Monster. This week I've got a Nasty Beast Green Tea Hard Tea by Monster. All right. Now this stuff is 6% ABV as well, it's just like it was last week. And uh, let's see, this has got the same, exact same stuff it had on it last week. I'm not gonna read all that shit again. Uh, big 24 ounce can. Now last week at that gum original, Monster Hard Tea, I gotta tell you, it was delicious. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, it really stuck out. Now I don't know what this is gonna be like. Let's see, let's see if it has a green tint to it at all. Yeah, maybe. When you pour it, it kind of just looks like a headless beer right now. Looks like a beer with no head on it. Got little bitty bubbles all in that thing, man. Dad gum. Y'all look at that. Maybe y'all can see them. Little old bitty bubbles just floating around, acting crazy. It's like it almost wants to be carbonated. Now, I'm not getting any kind of aroma off of it at all. Last week, I had, on the original hard tea, it kind of had a lemony note to it. This one doesn't have anything. I can't smell nothing. But it, it basically looks like a beautiful headless beer, doesn't it? <laughs> so, let's see. This uh, monster out of Longmont, Colorado, Monster Brewing, Monster Nasty Beast uh, Green Hard Tea at a 6% ABV. This is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way, just like I do. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Y'all, this don't taste nothing like no hard tea. It does taste like a green tea. I can I can taste the green tea, you know, type flavor. And it's just freaking delicious. I can't believe it, man. It just goes down just smooth and easy. You can't take you can't tell there's six percent alcohol in this stuff. So be careful with it, man. It it'll it'll uh, come up and kick you on the butt if you ain't careful. Cause it's got a very delicious flavor that's easy to drink, man. You could just this 24 ounce can here, you could probably kill it. It's that smooth and easy to drink. Uh, I'm not hardly in the mood of killing anything right now, <laughs> but it is a delicious, a delicious green tea. I've got a score an A. Um, now last week's I scored an A plus, and I think it was a deserving of an A plus. It was the most outstanding I thought. This one is it's it's close, it's close, but it's not hardly where last week's the original was. It's still deserving of an A. It's very good, very good. For what? you know, I would consider a trash beer. These big 24 ounce cans you get in a convenience store most time, you know, they got high ABV and stuff like that. They're just kind of specialty brews and I just kind of consider them trash beers. Now you do have, you know, a shelf that'll have singles uh, of some, some uh, uh, like Miller Lite and stuff like Miller and stuff like that, Coors, that'll have the bigger cans in them. But, for the most part, these are in a different area and they're just all kind of like, I could just consider them trash beers. And that's where I picked this up. But this ain't no trash beer, y'all. It, it's it's definitely an A alcoholic beverage. I scored an A. All right, y'all. That's been a Trash Beer Tuesday this week. I'll be back tomorrow for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. Love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. Mmm, that's good.